welcome everyone we are now going to be doing question 9 which is a presentation question done through microsoft powerpoint for those who already subscribed to this channel thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please click subscribe button and click the like button and also click the bell to be notified whenever i upload any other episode this is going to be our episode 4 of the series that I started using a previous question paper of November 2022 for computer practice N4. So as we are starting, if you look at the question paper displayed, it says retrieve the presentation shark fin from the computer practice N4. So I have retrieved the file as you see it here on the screen. The question says as a footer key in your examination number and question 9 in capital letters on each slide ensure that the slide number also appears on each slide so what i'm going to do now i'm going to insert a footer by clicking insert then i go to header and footer and then when i click footer here at the bottom it activates my footer then there is where you key in your examination number. So I'm just going to write examination number. So in your case, when you are doing the exam, you will write your own ID number. After putting my examination number, I click apply to all, meaning that every slide will have what I just did now. And then I'm going to insert again a slide number and then I have to make sure that I also click apply to all, meaning that each and every slide will have a slide number. Then when we look at our question again from the question paper, it says save the presentation as question nine. Then I'll go to file and then I'll go to save as. Obviously, I will have to choose the location where it must save. And then I'm going to save as question nine question 9 then I click save now continuing again on our question paper question 4 says make all the changes according to the instructions below and apply all proofreading instructions as given on the next page so when we look at our slides we have two slides here I'm going to start with slide number one and then we'll look at the instructions to make changes the changes that we see here on the question paper it indicates that this picture must change to be having a border around it and then we must also apply a pencil sketch effect and then we must also move the image to the bottom right hand side of the slide then we will flip the slide horizontally so now going to the picture on my slide this picture here i have to apply a 6pt round dot border around the image so what i will do now i will have to go and edit the picture by going to format then i will have to go to the border and then i will have to change the border to have a 6pt border around now the next instruction on the picture is to make sure that we are changing the effect of the picture to be artistic. So I will have to click the picture like I did now. Then what you will do now, you go to format, artistic effect is there, you click it. And then now the instruction said we must change it to a pencil sketch. So you just move your mouse on top of each and every effect until you see a pencil sketch like I did now and click it. Then the last instruction, because there are three, it says we must flip the picture horizontally. So I have to go and click the picture again so that I find the format tool. Click format. And then when you go there, you'll find rotate. Click rotate and then click flip horizontally. Then your picture is now facing another direction. And then when we look at the instructions on the question paper, now we see that we have to change the heading here. According to the instructions, it says change to Lucida handwriting, ATPT, uppercase and center. 
so we are going to highlight this heading and then we are going to change the font style here to lucida handwriting so i'm going to go and find lucida handwriting by scrolling down then when i find lucida handwriting click it and then change the font size to 80 and then like i did now and then i'm going to change it to uppercase and center so i'm going to choose there and say uppercase and then choose center there then that is how it is this is how it will appear but now we have an instruction on the question paper here that says insert a letter space between shark and fin so i'm going to click there on my slide and put the cursor between shark fin and press a space bar on the keyboard then i have a space between shark fin and then when we look at the instruction here for this text on my question paper now it says we must change to lucida handwriting 40 font size uppercase and left so i'm going to highlight it and then go and find lucida handwriting again by uh, dragging or um, scrolling down and then after i scroll down when i find lucida handwriting then i will have to change it to 40 click there and then change it to 40 and then i will have to align it right okay i have to align it left there it's now appearing on the left hand side of my slide now i can just drag it down because it's not appearing correctly there it is now going to slide number two slide number two now when we look at the way the slide must change we have instructions to change the font of the heading to be arial black for the eight italics so i'm going to highlight everything in this heading and then we change it to arial black and then i'm going to change it to italics and center so i'm going to choose i for italic and then make it center by aligning it and then we are going to change the headings of the two contents here the first one here i will have to change it to b arial black 32 and uppercase so i'm going to go there and say arial black font size 32 and then i have to change it to uppercase there it is so what i did here i have to do there so the simplest way rather than me repeating the same thing i can just make sure that this is highlighted go and choose format painter and then go and highlight over what i need the style to be the same as where i'm coming from that is how you paint over what you want to be repeated then on the question paper now the instruction says that we have to change the font to a real narrow 24 for both the contents and also apply to change the bullets to make the bullets to appear as instructed so what i'm going to do now i'm going to highlight this and change it to a real narrow 24 so i'm going to click here and say a real narrow and then change it to font size 24 so meaning that because i want this to also apply that side i can choose format painter and go and highlight over the next text it will change like that then now I have to change the bullets to be of that type. So I have to go now and highlight, go to bullets and choose the bullet that must come. Same as what I did there must be done on the other side. So I will have to choose format painter and then just brush over the next. Then you see the bullets are appearing again on the other side now the last instruction on the question paper says apply a border a double line border around each text box so we have to apply the border around each text box so meaning that now i'm going to highlight the first text box there or the the text that i have on the other side then i go to format and then I, i'm going to apply an outline border so when i go to shape outline here i can go and take width and then i can choose one pt so what i did here i have to do that side so i can just highlight and then go to format painter and then go and highlight over the text there okay 
so now even this side i have to put a border so i can highlight everything and then go to format shape outline and then width and then i take one pt so i have the border appearing on both text or both of my paragraphs and then there's instruction that says we must actually change the theme of the entire presentation as instructed so when we look at the question paper from the beginning where we got all the instructions it is indicating what type of a theme we are supposed to use if you look there on number five it says change the theme of the presentation to retrospect and change the variant of the theme to grayscale so when we change the theme you go to design and then you expand to see more themes so when you put your mouse on each and every you will see their names appearing so we are looking for retrospect theme so if i move my mouse until i find retrospect there it is i click it but now it must come with a variant variants are also found under design on the right hand side there is a variant and then we must choose grayscale so i have to expand then when i move my mouse on top of each i will actually find where it says grayscale so i'm just going to move my mouse to retrospect which is gray there it is grayscale retrospect that is how you do it thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed click subscribe on the icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload another episode even for upcoming series thank you mm -hmm.